So when the president says there will be no ground troops, there will be no combat troops in Iraq, is that what he means? We won't see columns of American tanks going through Iraq to occupy territory? Because I don't hear anybody actually proposing that. Um, is, is that his well, definition? Is that where? Is that where the line is drawn? So we won't have columns of American tanks and ground troops trying to take over swaths of territory in Iraq? Well, again, I, 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 is that what he's ruling out? I think, I think the president has been very clear about what he what he's ruled out. So I'd encourage you to, 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 to check his uh, remarks on this topic. Uh, what the president has said is that he is not going to uh, put uh, U.S. military personnel on the ground in Iraq in a combat role. Uh, that, means, uh, that means a variety of things. Uh, th but that is the guideline that the President has laid out. It certainly means that there won't be uh, long columns of American tanks rolling across the Iraqi desert trying to take and occupy Iraqi uh, territory. Uh, it also means, let me finish, it also means uh, that we're not going to put uh, American military personnel uh, in a situation where they are uh, responsible for personally and directly engaging the enemy uh, in combat. As the President has been clear that they will be there in an advise and assist role. Uh, and there are a variety of ways they can do that. They can do that by serving in the Joint Operations Center and coordinating the efforts of Iraqi and Kurdish security forces and, uh, and integrating them with the broader coalition forces. Uh, there might also be a scenario where uh, American military personnel, again, in advisory capacity, could be forward deployed with Iraqi security forces. They would be forward deployed to offer some tactical advice, maybe call in some airstrikes. But again, they would not be in a position where their specific responsibility was to personally or directly engage the enemy in combat. Okay, so that's what I'm getting at. So, you, so the president is not ruling out having U.S. troops based with Iraqi forces on the front lines, based with Iraqi forces, embedded with Iraqi forces that are engaged in combat. He does not rule out having Americans serving side by side with Iraqis in such a position. Well, again, I, I, the forward deployed, as you said. I mean, let's, let's yeah, you're trying to describe what I just said, but you're using different words in doing that. Uh, so, what, in terms of trying to understand what our position is, I'd, I'd refer to what I just said. So, I, and I, I say that only because not because I'm trying to be argumentative, but only because um, you and your colleagues are rightly holding us to a high semantic standard. So, uh, in terms of trying to understand what I said, I. Uh, but, but on I this just tried to lay that out. Standard, this, these would be heavily armed American troops. Uh, they, they, they certainly would be, would be. They would be on the front lines. It would be in the line of fire, uh, but their purpose would be to advise the Iraqis and to call in airstrikes. But they would be right in, in the thick of it, no? And the president's not ruling that out. Well, the the president is. Uh, well, let me take let me take this in the, a couple of different forms. The first is. Uh, there have been, the President has ordered additional military personnel to Iraq uh, over the course of the summer, and there have been War Powers notifications filed as it relates to those military deployments. Uh, each of those War Powers notifications indicated that those troops are combat ready, right, that they are armed for combat because they need to protect themselves. Iraq is a very dangerous place right now. Uh, second is, there are already American military personnel that are in the line of fire. Uh, they're pilots, they're piloting aircraft carrying out airstrikes. Uh, against ISIL positions in Iraq. So the point is, and the President made this point in his remarks at MacDill yesterday, that uh, each of these missions carries with them a risk. Uh, and no one should minimize uh, the risk uh, that our men and women uh, in uniform are taking on uh, in support of this mission. The President certainly doesn't minimize that risk. Okay, just last thing.